Hello, Fake Reviews, Uncle Dudes here. Who reviews? And today I'm viewing Lady Bouvier the Lover. And I think this all begins with the Simpsons celebrating uh, Maggie's birthday. And, uh, the, this is a uh, good scene in, in this parody episode. This shows uh, Maggie's point of view when she, uh, about to get her birthday cake and Mary turns off the lights and everybody's just around her taking pictures and she's just and she's just shaking in fear. And I think this is the first episode that introduced the baby with the unibrow. So it's about to ask when they wait for the other babies to come for open presents and these are just uh, real that Maggie doesn't get along with the other babies. And just uh, so it's Maggie glaring at the Baby with the unibrow, so, hmm. And this is also the episode where Bart and Lisa perform the Armour Hot Dog song, and then the Rex and Simpsons doing the Fried Chicken Tonight song. Hmm. And just after spending some time with the Abe and her mother, Marge, thinking that they're both kind of lonely. So, they, she thinks that they should have spent some time together. So when the four of them are just at this uh, restaurant and Abe notices how uh, glum uh, Mrs. Bouvier is, he just forms a try to chatting routine with the blue haired lawyer, turn up with some goons to just have him uh, uh, not do that since he represents the Chapman family. Yeah. Uh, yeah, before you know it, the two fall in love. And there's this good funny scene where Abe realizes he's in love, and I, you, have to, you have to see it to, to know how funny it is, I think. It's just something you need to see. And there's a scene where Homer is disgusted that his father and Marge's mother are together and just uh, describing what the kids will look like. Just getting pink skin, no overbite, and a Extra finger, and yes, he's about to look like he just screamed running. But then, when it's time for Abe and uh, Jackie, Mary's mother's uh, first name, said uh, Day Thomas advised his father to play it cool while some jazz music is being playing. Yeah. And the day seemed to go on well until Mr. Burns and Thrupps and yeah, it might be over a hundred years old, but the guy can still swing. Hmm. And the blue lawyer does up again for another uh, thing that he, he wants to uh, grandpa stop doing with represents uh, some other uh, person, but I, I can't remember who or what the thing is. And there's a B plot with the uh, Bart Ordon, uh, a uh, uh, itchy and scratchy animation cell after he took uh, Homer's wallet, and for some reason Homer took his uh, took Bart's uh, slingshot. Yeah. And uh, when uh, Bart expected the thing to come, he got two punches in the face. One per one uh from this person, one of the stops in the. Uh, and there's to uh, Sinatra, another one of them stopped uh, going to the Minter Golf Course. And the third one was the delivery for the animation cell. Where he put his in the face and he kept him waiting. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the cell, and the cell doesn't seem like, the, like what about expected, and it's just an arm of uh, the scratchies. And he just tried to sell it to the comic guy since he spent uh, $350 on it. The comic guy said it not even worth anything, but he does get back the phone shaped in the form of some woman. I forget who it is. And here's a good scene with the burned around the Miller says he's in love. 
and I dare, dare Jackie said no to him when he wanted to do something. Apparently, 330 people or girls said no to him, but only one said, said it, but it actually came out the building there. And Clinton cameos. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it seems like Smithers is against the whole uh, race because, well, he has feelings for Burns. I mean, Burns actually shows up in the Simpsons house and we have Tom Remarge's name. He, uh, Smithers tells tell them they're the Flintstones. <laughs> eh, that makes sense. Uh, Barry actually threatens Burns with some uh, ketchup and mustard guns that he got fired at him. He doesn't dab. Uh, Give him the three hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, Burns does, but you think the table is turned when he took one of that Bart's guns and yeah, that's the reaction that Mrs. Bouvet uh, has the squad when he sees the two of them. Uh, the the gab uh, guy I saw his throats. Uh, Bart does reveal the Homer that why he did a uh, first Homer is mad, but then. But Bart gives him money, he's just excited. And it seems like Bart did learn from, from Ed doing something like this and saying that the phone be a reminder of never doing anything that stupid again. But then the house calls him asking if he wants to play it with the x-ray machine in the old man hospital, so... Hmm. And Ed just said a uh, pine him with his bouvier that the uh, Jasper and the other attendants in the Elfo's home get a, a cake, one of those uh, uh, cakes that has a something inside it, but yeah, apparently they did call the nurse. Yeah. And uh Bernice asked uh, Miss Bouvier to to marry him and he says yes. And um, Mary just want to point out uh, how bad or evil that uh, Burns is, but didn't read the bother. Um, that Mrs. Bouvier. And uh, during the wedding, uh, Abe does that uh, crash it by playing the organ that's behind some glass. Like, I, I've already said it before, but it might be cartoon logic, but how the hell? They get into that. Yeah. I just uh, asked if if you preferred to be uh, Mrs. Abraham Simpson, and yeah, it turns out she prefers not to be boat. So it turns run off into a bus, and yeah, a parody of uh, the sound of silence is playing. So it just it just turned into a. Uh, the end of the, the graduate at all. Mm. And yeah, yeah, this is it. I think the good episode and it is from season five, so it should be kind of good and had a lot of funny moments. And uh, this is seeing uh, Abe actually get get a woman for a while was it? Pretty good, and this stuff with uh, Maggie's birthday was kind of good as well. I don't know if they needed the the plot with Bert to get in the animation cell to just to add uh, the connect with the burn plot as well, but I don't know. And does the sound of uh, a Smithers just being upset that? Uh, 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 Burns on the remember the, the poem he read him during his birthday when Burns asked him to help him write a poem for um, Mrs. Bouvier. It's just the little depressing. So, hmm. And, uh, yeah, this is a good episode. Not really one of my favorites, but. Probably my uh, top 15, top 20. I don't know. And, uh, you take that as it says, later.